Your accent, are you Greek? That's correct. <laughs> Greeks are trouble. Only for pretty women. I would like you to meet our visionary CEO, Van Vlahakis. Well, being Greek, we have a tremendous background that most people don't have. We have a 3,000 year history and he gave us uh, a tremendous beginning that we could use no place, no matter where in the world we go, being Greek is a big, ad is a big advantage. And so it makes us uh, more able to adjust and become successful in any society. Thank God, because God gave me the facility to have for accents and a good ear. But what was difficult about this, and it, was, and it really posed a challenge, not just because it was a Greek accent, but I also had to incorporate a Chicago accent along with the Greek accent and marry them together so that I can make the accent like Van has now. This is Ecos, our number one selling laundry detergent. It is 100% natural. And of course I want to ask you, how does it feel like to, to be portrayed by Sana Elizabeth, you know? Oh, there couldn't be a greater feeling. She is stunningly beautiful. I couldn't be more lucky to have been have her play me. I certainly uh, have a lot of work to do on my personal self <laughs> so I can be like her. But she's absolutely, and she's a beautiful person inside too. I felt really fortunate to have an actress play me who really believes in the green movement and lives her life that way. Kelly was watching the rehearsal of the scene and she came and told the director, you know, I would say it a little bit differently and so she wanted to rearrange the lines a little bit. And so she and the director and I went in the back and I said, okay, I'm going to film you and I want you to say it as you would say it. So she gives a speech, she changes a few of the lines and says it the way that's natural for her. And then she left and I studied it for a little bit and we made the lines exactly how she wanted it. And uh, I did a lot to try to match like her hand gestures and the way she spoke and her intonations. and. I, my main goal was to honor her and make her proud of me trying to represent her, so I wanted it exact for her. Everybody loves this guy. We can't get to his people. It is my greatest hope that we come to realize that green is vital and the survival of our planet. Work has always driven me, even when I was young. But what does it drive you now, at this stage of your life? Again, the pleasure of being able to work, of being healthy and being able to do things uh, good for our people, uh, our employees, my family and the people that we service in uh, as customers. What are you going to do for money? It's very difficult here. I didn't come to America expecting for it to be easy. I'm looking for a job. It's hard for a chemist to find a job. I'm looking for the right job. Well, I lived through the German occupation in Greece and we made it with very little money. So money is not really that main reason I have the business. It is a way for me to uh, do things I want to do, which is in this case creating products that are good for people and the environment. Uh, profit is not my most important factor though. You do need some profit. The most important thing is that you do whatever you think is the right thing to do. Do you expect me to approve chemicals that are bad for our customers? The biggest challenges are usually solved by the simplest solutions. I just added some water to dilute the starch. It kept the remaining properties, so it still works. I'm afraid the outlook isn't good. The tumor's grown too large. There's nothing you can do. I recommend you get a second opinion. You're my fourth opinion. They, they thought uh, four different doctors that I had a major tumor, probably carcinogenic, that eventually would take away my life. And um, this went on for over six months. But finally, uh, a young doctor from Iran had different opinions and uh, sent me to a specialist who knew about infections. And when it was realized that everyone had made a mistake, I went into a, a treatment and uh, uh, within uh, three months, the infection uh, was eliminated and was back to normal, as I am today. So, but what were really your feelings toward that system? I mean, you must, be, you must have lived moments of your life thinking that you're gonna die very soon, no? Well, that's true, that's true. That's part of life sometimes. Uh, 
people make mistakes and you're glad when they find out that there was a mistake and you're still around. I like looking at the water. It seems things are not as bad as they really are. You leave me alone in this empty house. Maria. Ecos is not selling up to expectations. We're getting a lot of pressure from corporate to drop you guys. When I started to study him and I started to read the script, was that the spirit of the man and how much he had in terms of the love that not only did he had for the company and not only the desire of overcoming obstacles and, and achieving the American dream, but the love that he had to endure for his family so that he knew that he had to make this company work and make sure that his, that his family was secure even if he, he, even if he passed on. And that's, that's a tremendous thing for somebody to do. It's so quiet. I don't want you to wind up losing everything. I asked you to buy him out while we have the chance. What are your feelings towards your character? If he was a real person, how would you feel for him? How would you feel about him? Uh, kind of sorry, a bit pity, because uh, he couldn't see the future of the, of the product, of the company, and actually he couldn't be the part of the family. He didn't believe, uh, he doesn't believe uh, in the relationship between uh, people, he just believes in uh, uh, the numbers. So I feel sorry for him. I know the last thing you want to do is sell your company. Uh, how are you going to get new sales without a cash injection after you are gone? When I close my eyes, I dream of youth. And when I dream of youth, I wonder about death. And when I wonder about death, I think back over my life and I ask myself if I've done everything that I could. Do you believe you have done everything you could at this stage of life? Uh, probably no. Probably there is a lot of more things I want to do. And since my health is well, is good and I feel like I can do more things, uh, I'm working on new products, new customers, uh, we open in a plan in Greece to make our products for the European Union. I'm looking forward for Greece to be again a successful place and a place where we can do business and help the economy. You like surprising people, don't you? So resilient Greek in me. Before I started writing and directing the movie, I, uh, I knew Van and Kelly Vlahakis through family for about three or four years. So I'd always heard Van's story. What was the reaction of the real life Van when you told him, hey, do you know what? Actually, I didn't come for dinner tonight. I came to present you a script I wrote for you. Yeah, well, the way Van uh, is, he's like, I don't think that's a good idea. I think there are so many other stories that you can tell. You know, you think my life is that exciting? And, you know, he, he's one of these guys that he's just very cool about it. And he didn't have like a big, it wasn't like a no or it wasn't a yes. He was like, oh, I, I want you to think about it some more. What are the plans for the film now? Uh, we're concentrating on the film festival. There are some other film festivals that we're looking at. And hopefully we'll get some kind of a, you know, a theatrical distribution here. And we definitely want to take the movie in Athens and show it there.